Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to chat with you guys about what has been going on with my life, okay? I have this scarf on because I didn't make my hair and I'm not even in the mood to start trying to wear a wig or whatever. I just need to be free, okay? Anyway, so let me just give you guys a little bit of update about what has been going on with me. Uh, some of you might have noticed that I am not as consistent as... I used to be last year, not even this year. Let me not even talk about this year. I used to be before, um, like basically, even on Ada and Nello, we haven't been filming. And I think we'll be back to filming soon because they're about to start The Real Housewives. And we like to talk about it, but you know, I have to confirm first. Then also, on my second channel, I came with so much ginger that I was going to do BBN content, this and that. That one just fizzled out because a lot has been happening, you know, with me. When I say a lot, actually, not a lot has been happening with me. That's even the problem. <laughs> I don't know why I just became overwhelmed or overcome with so much laziness. Actually, I know why. I know why. Let me not even lie. The first reason is my weight. And you guys, I want to... I'm considering um, weight loss surgery, to be honest. I want to actually go and get surgery to lose weight. And the surgery I'm even talking about or I'm thinking about is not even the actual gastric sleeve or whatever i want to do the balloon there's something they call gastric balloon i didn't even know about it before because i've not really looked at you know medical intervention for me to lose weight i always wanted to do it by myself my own will you know my own strength and everything you know be disciplined be this be that go on a strict diet and <laughs> see i have come to a conclusion that that is not for me <laughs> I mean, I have come to that conclusion that is not, I'm not one of those people that, you know, would on their own just lose weight. Well, me, let me not say, let me not say, never say never, okay? Because God can do anything tomorrow and things will change for me. But as of right now, I have gone back and forth so much. I have yo-yoed with my weight so much that I'm tired, okay? I'm tired of struggling with my weight. I know a couple of things that contribute to my weight gain, okay? And I'm not one of those people that don't know why they're gaining weight. <laughs> I know. I know my reasons very well. I know the one that I caused by myself. I know the one that is genetic and I know the one that is inflicted on me based on certain things, okay, like, you know, medication and stuff like that, okay? So I know. And for people that will come to my comment section and say things like, oh, for you to lose weight, you have to do this here, just resist the urge, okay? Don't waste your time because this girl here can actually, I can actually do a, a masterclass on losing weight, okay? On different types of methods of lo losing weight. It's funny how when, you know, I encounter like my friends now and they're trying to lose weight and they discover a particular method of losing weight and they're like, oh my God, let me try this, let me try that. I, I heard this works and they're excited about it. I'm like being there, done that, okay? I started intermittent fasting when I was in university, okay? And I entered university 2007 or 2008 or whatever. And I think it was in... When, I think around 2009 that I started, you know, doing intermittent fasting. I was trying other things bef before then. So, intermittent fasting is not a today thing for me. I knew intermittent fasting or I did intermittent fasting before it became a thing, okay? I didn't even know it was intermittent fasting then, but I used to eat once a day and I used to eat at a particular time once a day, like 6 o'clock every day. That's when I used to eat. And I actually lost a lot of weight and I maintained it for a while, okay? But then I was in school, I was living alone, so I had, you know, control over what I could eat at that time. So I lost so much weight and I actually, you know, felt good. Even though technically it wasn't really, I didn't really do it well because I wasn't eating healthy when I was breaking my fast. I was just eating whatever I could, you know, because I was a student, I didn't really care about, I knew about eating healthy, but I just didn't want to to stress myself so i was just eating whatever i could at some point i always eat indomie and egg every day anyway so i have known about intermittent fasting since then i have known about the keto diet since 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 okay since a long time ago I, even before i knew it was called keto diet i already started practicing it and you know all of that okay i think it started from being called paleo then from paleo it now modified to keto i can't remember but you know i've known about these things for years you guys essentially i started trying to lose weight since I was in GS3. That was when I started actively trying to lose weight, okay? This is so many years later. This is 20 something years later, I think, or 20 years later, maybe, 21 years later, 23. Anyway, this is over 20 years later and I'm still trying to lose weight, like I beg. Did I come to this life to be doing diet up and down, be trying to lose it up and down? And me, I always go between, um, what do they call it now? Binge eating, stress eating, 
and not eating. Like, it's either I'm eating too much and I'm not eating at all. Anyway, if you guys have watched me before, you know all this gist. I have tried several times to start my weight loss journey. I'll start, I'll lose some weight, and then I'll fall off, something will happen, and I'll be back to anyhow. So yeah, that is why I am considering the gastric balloon. I would have done it this year, but you know, I have to be sure of some things before I can do it, okay? Because uh, I don't want to start what I cannot finish. <laughs> And I'm researching a good hospital. I don't want to start it in one hospital and finish another hospital. Like, it's either I'm doing it in one hospital around me or I'll go to a particular hospital that I know I have access to. But anyway, like a good hospital. Because I don't really trust Potter Courts, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, so I'm considering weight loss surgery because that's part of my big... In fact, that's my biggest problem in this life, my weight. Because it affects my mood. It affects my ginger. It affects the way I feel about myself. It affects the... My energy levels are very, very low. Um, another thing that's like worrying me now is sleep deprivation. Even though my husband is around now, so I'm trying to sleep more. But, you know, every night I have to wake up and take my kids to go and pee. And once I take them to go and pee and I come back, that sleep has gone. For like two hours, I'll just be awake. I've tried, okay, not pressing my phone. But even when I don't press my phone, I'll just be lying on the bed and rolling up and down. Again, my weight might be part of it, okay? Because sometimes um, weight gain and hormonal changes can cause insomnia, okay? So, yeah, if I say I can do a master class on weight loss and weight gain, then just trust me, I can. So, the knowledge is not my problem. The knowledge of anything has never really been my problem, to be honest. What has always been my issue is execution, okay? Because I'm someone that seeks knowledge a lot. I'm someone that, you know, likes to read up, likes to know, I want to know, I want to know. Okay, now that you know, what are you doing with that information? Absolutely nothing. So, that's the problem with, you know, me, it's basically, I'm very self-aware. I know what my problem is. I know what my shortcomings are. I know what my issues are. So some people try to advise me or try to tell me what to do. I'm like, do you really think that I don't know? <laughs> knowing me, okay, knowing me, do you really think that ignorance is my problem? Ignorance is not my problem, okay? It has never been like, it has never been. Anyway, yeah, that's it about that. Um, I want to even address some of the comments I've been getting lately. I used to get comments from time to time, and I'll be like, you know what, I'm going to address this one day, but I always forget. So let me try and address a few comments that I've gotten over and over and over again, okay? Um, one of them is about my kitchen pantry. Ever since I made my video restocking the house, people keep asking me about how long does the food last, okay? You know, how much is it? How, mu how, much, how much is it to stock up your pantry and how much does the food last? And when it comes to how much, I can't really say specifically how much, but at least just budget between 300 and 500k to stock up your house really, really well. Okay, that's even if you're that's if you're adding because I didn't add um, actual food stuff and actual um, actual like produce. Okay, I didn't add those, but let's just say 300 to 500k to actually stock up your store very well. Mind you, we are a family of seven, even though one person is not around during the week. That's Amarachi. She comes on Friday, leaves on Monday morning, but we are a family of seven essentially. And, you know, we spend between that to really stock up the pantry. However, it lasts for at least three months before I'll say everything will be completely finished. Like, since last time I bought those things, I've not really, like, done major shopping again. But some things finish faster than others, okay? So we still have rice. We still have beans. We still have cereal. We still have, um, basically all their cereal is still there. One or two things are still there. Okay, for the soaps, I had to buy that detergent. The one we use more often, which is Ariel, I had to restock Ariel. But, you know, Morning Fresh and Wild Detergents, those ones are still there. Some things here and there finish, and I just have to buy them back. But I've, I've, I never really get to a stage where my pantry, everything is completely empty. I never really get to that stage. So, I can't categorically tell you guys that, oh, this thing stays for one month or three months or whatever. I can't really say that because they don't finish at once. I don't buy at once. The only few times I buy at once is when over time, like once a year or twice a year, over time I can see that, okay, and I deliberately, actually, actually deliberately, I have to deliberately not buy anything until, you know, most things have finished, okay? So, yeah, but that's basically it about it. That's it, yeah. In the house, we eat um, twice for the adults. The adults eat twice most times. The kids eat three times. Sometimes the adults is three times. It just depends on, you know, circumstances. I think on Saturdays and Sundays, we actually eat... No, Saturdays we eat three times. I think it's on Saturdays we eat three times, to be honest. On Sunday, we eat twice. After service, we go out and eat, and then in the evening, 
Um, then during the week as well, at least me and my husband eat twice. Um, I don't know about Elizabeth or Amarachi. I don't really care. My husband is, as long as you know where food is, don't come and disturb my life. Um, so I don't know how long, how much, how many times they eat a day. But for me and my husband, we eat twice a day. So the truth of the matter is that you can't really, you can't really. Maybe you can estimate if you have the same number of family members I have and your dynamics are similar to mine. Maybe you can estimate. But if not, it's going to be difficult. You have to on your own actually determine it for yourself and the best way to determine it for yourself is to deliberately not buy anything like like um, tough it out okay throughout the month tough it out to the end 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 when you don't really have anything again in the house then start afresh and just leave an open tab okay bring us like one million naira and just start <laughs> so talking bring like one million naira <laughs> hey as if i am not in this nigeria but I'm just saying, okay, some of you have so much money. If you can just bring it like 1 million naira, 2 million naira, 5 million naira, you know, and just buy indiscriminately, like. <laughs> I can't even say this with a straight face. But anyway, just determine it for yourself and be able to choose, you know, and also choose the duration you want to buy things for. So if you want to buy things monthly, that one self day, so you won't buy as much as I did. You don't need to buy in packs, you don't need to buy in cartons and stuff like that. You can just buy, you know, like, you can start off by buying two, 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 two of everything, okay, and take note of when they when they finish. So when they finish, let's say they, you buy two, let's say you buy two golden money for instance, and then in three weeks the two golden money is finished, then you know you're going to buy three next time, okay. So it's something you have to deliberately sit down and calculate for yourself if you want to do it monthly, if you want to do it bi monthly, if you want to do it um, every three months, if you want to do it quarterly, yearly, whatever. You have to sit down and calculate it yourself, okay? Anyway, whatever method you have to adopt, then adopt that method, okay? So always have notebooks, pens, and stuff around you that you used to take note of things and just organize your life, okay? Um, yeah, that's one of the things I like the most about being a housewife or being a wife, a stay-at-home wife or whatever you will call me. I like applying all I have learned. <laughs> in school and my corporate world and everything. I like applying everything to my present day reality and it works, okay? I put up a post the other day and someone said, ah, that did I work in a bank? I was like, yeah, you guys don't know. In case you don't know, hi, my name is Adizi. And I actually worked in a bank before I resigned and became a YouTuber, okay? Yes, I actually worked in a bank, one of my worst years. <laughs> I hated my job. Uh, I hated my particular job. Maybe if I had a different role in the bank maybe but my particular role marketer i hated it with all my life it was just a waste of my time i just felt like i was begging people for money that's not even entering my account like and literally you have to beg yeah literally like let's not even deceive ourselves there um yeah so i worked in the bank before and i studied english in school in university um what else but i actually funny enough i was not one of those art students who hated maths. I didn't actually hate maths. It wasn't my best subject, but it wasn't my worst either. My worst subject is actually chemistry. I hated chemistry with a passion. Like, it, it oh God, it's so annoying. Hey, hey. And I did chemistry in um, GS1 to GS3. No, GS3, I think. And then I did, I did chemistry in my junior class. I think GS2 and GS3 in my school, then you do chemistry. I hated chemistry. It's still my worst subject today. I don't mind physics. Um, I don't mind... Um, biology I actually likes biology um yeah i actually liked maths i actually liked so i wasn't one of those people that oh i, I hated maths no so it's easy for me to do some things now i mean coupled with the fact that we have calculators we have all kinds of apps all kinds of everything so figure it out for yourself essentially is what i'm trying to say <laughs> then another comment i got which made me laugh was, oh someone told me that they think I'm about to jackpot because everybody's jackpotting or something like that. So they, they think I'm about to jackpot. Now, the truth of the matter is this, right? I am in Nigeria for now. I always, I always keep adding that for now because maybe before I would have been like, no, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not this or that. No, right now, I am in Nigeria for now. When you see me, you see me. When you don't see me, you don't see me. <laughs> I remember making a video and saying, you don't even know whether as I'm posting this video that maybe I'm actually abroad. You know how we YouTubers do? We, we film videos, then now travel, and then start releasing those videos small, small. You think you know where they are. Meanwhile, they've started in a different country. So as I'm watching this video, you don't know whether I'm ready in my Canada house, just chilling and feeling cool. But anyway, on a more serious note, yeah, I'm in Nigeria for now. So many things have been happening that I'm just like, well, what's happening in this country? However, I am not one of those people that will say, the reason why I'm leaving Nigeria is because Nigeria is messed up. I don't know. I'm not really one of those people, to be honest. Like, 
it's not really a reason for me because I always say this that things will always work out for my good. I'm not an unfortunate person, okay? I am not an unfortunate person. I'm not saying anybody that, you know, that anything has been following is an unfortunate person. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying that me personally, my personal belief and confession for my life is that I am not an unfortunate person. Nigeria will not happen to me. The way people say Nigeria, but Nigeria will not happen to me, okay? I will live and I will thrive wherever I find myself anytime, okay? I will live, I will thrive. 10,000 will fall. No, not 10,000. 1,000 will fall by my right hand, shall be my left hand, 10,000 by the other hand, and it shall never come near me, okay? Only with my eyes will I behold the reward of the wicked. I am not the wicked. So why should any kind of bad reward come towards me, okay, for, for just existing in Nigeria? No. So even if tomorrow now they start fighting war in Nigeria, my house is going to be covered. They're not gonna see me, okay? <laughs> You're not gonna see me. My house is going to be covered by a shield. Invisible shield that will make my house invisible. They will jump and pass. They will, they will, they will walk up pass. Okay. Anyway, but on a more serious note, um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not one of those people that will say, "Oh, I want to leave the country to give my children a better life." My children have a very good life here. My children are living. They are living and thriving. They are doing well here. Okay. So am I. So is my family. So anyway, but that being said, when you see me, you see me. When you don't see me, you don't see me. Okay. It, it is what it is. Anywhere good opportunity shows up for me, I will go. Okay. I was waiting for Peter Obi to become president before so that I can tell you guys, I said it. <laughs> I was one of those people that were, that were like, Peter Obi is going to become president. I'm going to come here and make a video and tell you guys how Shebi, I said it. You guys thought that I was joking when I said Peter Obi is going to become president. But anyway, um, so right now, <laughs> so right now, things are not actually the way that you know, some of us planned it but anyway it's all good um yeah it's all good like whatever i'm not among the masses i'm not I, I refuse to be i refuse to be among the statistics of people that nigeria happened to i refuse to be okay it's not my portion it can never be my portion you know i'm going to live my life for the glory of god and to the you know service of his kingdom that's what i'm living for okay so i shall not die but i'm gonna live to declare the goodness of god in the land of the living okay i'm going to keep declaring the goodness of god wherever i find my find myself okay no matter what's happening the goodness of god is gonna forever be declared okay my name is actually choma in case many of you don't know my middle name is choma and my second middle name is ebele okay what is that goodness and mercy <laughs> no choma is not goodness choma is actually What's Choma? Choma is good luck or good, good chi or God is good. I don't know. It's, it, it means different things. This is how you say the goodness of God, okay, or like God is good, or you can say somebody has a good chi, which is almost like good luck, okay? So whichever way you want to interpret it, it shall means that I can never be unfortunate, okay? Um, Ebele means mercy, okay? That's the mercy of God is forever upon my life, okay? So, plus I did a princess, princess treatment, I was made for this soft life. What else? Oh, my yano. <laughs> That's another name. I'm just chatting a little in this video, but anyway, my other name is actually Ogbeyano, in case you guys don't know. And Ogbeyano means a poor man will not marry, or something like that, will not marry this one, okay? Is that even the real meaning? Or I'm just assuming Ogbeyano, yeah, that's the meaning. Like a poor man will not marry this one. I'm good is basically what I'm trying to say. No matter what's happening, that will always be my confession. No matter what I'm seeing around me. And I'm saying this, okay, even though I'm laughing, I'm saying this in, with seriousness because I've realized that the way things are happening now, so many people are, con are confessing negative. So many people are weary, okay? So many people are weary. Is it weary or weary? Whatever. We're weary. Okay, so many people are weary. So many people have lost hope. So many people are downtrodden. Things that are happening around us are is putting fear in so many people. Even the deaths and stuff like that, like the death of this uh, mobad guy and what is all the circumstances around it, the whole pit of bees, um, the way the tribunal stuff went. Um, yesterday I was watching about David Hundein that was saying he's in trouble or they want to extradite him illegally. Um, using Ghana because he he's, he sought asylum in Ghana and he got it. So he travels with a Ghana refugee document or passport. Okay, so I saw him, you know, talking and I could see that this guy was scared. Even though he tries to put up a, a brave front, I could see that the guy was scared. So 
um, with the way the economy is going, so much, so much is happening. The people in power, the kind of things, inflation, everything. So, so much is happening, and so much is many people are actually genuinely scared. People are looking for any which way to dive out of this country, anywhere Belief is okay, and let any which way they want to dive out. And I understand their plight, okay. Let me not sound like I'm insensitive because oh, things are good for me. I don't sound insensitive, I understand people's plight, okay. Things are not actually that good for me if I, if I want to be honest, okay. So I'm not not found to be honest. If I want to say what I see, okay. If I want to say what I see, the outward appearance of things, things are not as good as you know. I I would have hoped, but if I want to confess with the eyes of the spirits, okay. If I want to confess with you know, all I know, or with my assurance in God, I will say that things are perfect for me, things are working out for my good, I'm enjoying, I'm balling, I'm living a good life, okay? Anyway, so my point essentially is this, right? Irrespective of what you see, irrespective of what's happening around you, those things are temporal. Do not make permanent decisions because of temporary circumstances. Do not confess negative, okay? If you're confessing negative, over your life, over your circumstances, it's gonna haunt you. Even if you leave Nigeria and go to Kazakhstan, Nabi, go to Antarctica, it, the, your negative confession is going to follow you wherever you go. Okay, so at the end of the day, be 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 confident in whose you are, right? Which is God, basically. Be confident in whose you are. And so is that even a good English? I don't even know where I even heard that one from self. Which one is whose you are? <laughs> well, I think it makes sense anyway. <laughs> But anyway, um, just be confident in that. Irrespective of what you are seeing around you, irrespective of how things are going around you, confess positively. Po confess positively. You have a good life. You are living. No matter what is happening, it will never, never come near you. Okay. No matter the circumstances that you are going through right now, it will come to pass. Okay. It will come to pass. And there's a bird building a nest in this tree near my house. I will pursue you on your beginner. <laughs> anyway, um, be confident about those things and don't confess negatively, but confess positively and say what you want to see because the power of the tongue, the power of life and death is in the tongue. And I watched one TikTok video. In fact, I don't even know where this video is going to. Anyway, I watched one TikTok video where I saw a guy that was talking about how science has actually proven that matter, like everything we see around us, if you get down to the to the to the uh, what do you call it now to the soul of it to the to the particles the base particles that form this table for instance it is actually vibrations okay it is actually vibrations like waves vibrations which is basically sound okay so it is a, a combination of vibrations that forms table a combination combination of specific vibrations that forms microphone that forms fan okay and that's how i understood it though i'm not a scientist okay so but basically that that proves that god exists okay for those who are doubting because i'm not one of them but for those who are doubting that proves that when the bible says and god said let there be light and god said let there be this he was actually forming those vibrations or it is those his words those vibrations that went out to form the things that we see around us okay so it is the same vibrations from your tongue <laughs> because i mean we are like our father who is god and we are actually spirit beings so what you say those those things you are saying are forming the vibrations or are the vibrations that are going to form your reality okay it might not happen immediately, but it will happen in, you know, in your nearest future or even in the far future. So that is why you have to be careful when you confess negative. And even if you confess negative, because I sometimes confess negative, I always shut it down immediately. The moment I'm conscious of it, I shut it down immediately. And even when I'm praying, I pray that even if I've used my mouth to say anything wrong, Lord, I beg. I beg go. <laughs> Help me change it. You know, or it, it, it's not going to come near me, right? So, anyway, just confess positively. It actually helps with your mood. It helps with your, with your outlook towards life if you actually maintain a positive mindset. But yeah, that is it about this video. My chit chat about random things. I actually enjoyed this chit chat about random things because I just feel like I'm with my friends just gisting. <laughs> you know, like it doesn't have to be a structured lecture kind of, you know, talk. I actually like it. I'm going to be doing more about it. So if you have like random things you want me to discuss, you know, but not like a, a an actual video about it, one thing, then let me know in the comment section. If you have questions about me, about my life, about things I have shared that you want to ask, if you have questions you want to ask, or you want me, things you want me to address about things about my life, then let me know those questions in the comment section. 
as well okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video